Oh, God. What is it? There's a boy under the ice. A boy? I think he's dead. Hold 911. Now, what was your emergency? There's a boy. There's a boy trapped under the ice. Can you tell me where the boy is? A block away in the pond off Mill Road. Okay, I do see the pond. You said the boy's under the ice. Do you know how long he's been under there? No, my husband saw him open his eyes. Okay. But that was at least five minutes ago. We tried to break the ice, but it's too thick. You have to send somebody. Okay, um, unfortunately, because of the weather, there are no available fire trucks within 10 miles of that pond. Well, then he's going to die. But I do see one other unit in the area. Over here. Well, there's the ambulance. But where are the fire trucks? That must be done. Great. TK, park the rig right here. Uh, we're sliding. We're sliding. Or not. All right, TK, get the ECMO machine ready to go. And start the warming fluids. Nancy, help me with the gurney. And careful where you step. No one needs a broken tailbone. Copy. Copy. He's out there. I put my hand on the ice over where he is so the firefighters can find him when they get here. Are they close? They're all spoken for because of the snowmageddon. Good news is I was a firefighter in New York, so this is not my first ice rescue. Okay, but, but, but don't you need special gear for that? We'll just have to improvise. I see the kid. There's no way I'm going to have to break through the ice. Come on! Ugh.